Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with episode 3 of the Total War Warhammer Vampire Counts campaign with Manfred. So in the last episode, you've seen as we uh, did the Battle of Hellfen, the quest battle. We took Fort Obersteyr from uh, Tempelhof, and now we are besieging Castle Tempelhof itself. And next turn, once uh, this army has had the chance to replenish a little bit, maybe even two turns, I want this army to not be super weak. Um, so in a couple of turns, we'll be besieging Castle Templehoff, and we'll actually fight it, um, regardless of how easy they're to resolve chances, because I want to show you guys a siege, goddammit. Uh, in a couple of turns, we're going to be able to upgrade the, uh, the, the town at Eschen, and then we could build a ancient armory, and then we could up, we can build Graveguard and stuff like that, and it's going to be great. So, yeah. Looking forward to that. Anyway. Uh, I think that's all we really need to do, so let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, besieging with no t uh, equipment. Yeah, we'll definitely want that. Oh, so it's going to be a couple of turns anyway, never mind. Alright, end the turn. We'll see what all the damned living people end up, come with, uh, <laughs> end up coming up with. I don't know what they come up with. All right. So I mean that army's looking pretty good. Lots of zombies though. Of course zombies aren't the best thing in the world. Uh we're not making that much more money, so I don't really want to Yeah, I don't really want to spend any more. So yeah, once we can build that, we can of course uh, get graveguard, which is awesome, and I really want to do that. So next turn we'll uh we'll get that. So yeah, um, I guess we could join, actually if you raid, do you, or channel, interesting. I think it's just the orcs that get their, get men back. Yeah. Well, we'll raid anyway. Yeah, look at the uh, auto resolve chance. But I will play it, I said I would. So I'll 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 stick to that. All right. Well, if we if we have to wait all that that much time, never mind. Let's um. Let's just replenish our men. Public order in Templehof isn't doing too great, but that's fine. Oh, we're gonna get Vargeist. Ah, I forgot. If I could get Vargeist in that army, this the siege of Ka uh, Templehof would be so easy. Because what are they gonna have defending the walls? A bunch of crap. You want peace, huh? Nah, no, screw that. You will be destroyed. The red eye goblins have been destroyed. Mission to take Castle Templehof. Alright. Ah, I can give our guys. That's amazing. How, how expensive are they? Oh, God. Okay, it's going to ruin my economy, but that's fine. We're going to give these to uh, Manfred after this battle anyway. We'll take some of his. Maybe we'll take his two zombies. Alright, so this is going to be upgraded, or no, this is going to be upgraded when we have 4,000. Shit. Which is going to be a while from now. Um, can we get money from someone easily? Oh, they're the only undead. Crap. Oh, the Empire don't really hate me. I don't really want to get anything out of them, though. Hey, you want to give me money? You want to give me money? <laughs> I guess that doesn't work anymore. Oh shit. Well, we're we're gonna have to wait. All right. Comes. Destroy them. Wipe them out. All right. We st we still have plenty of time. So uh, in two turns we'll have our Vargeist. That's when we'll attack. attack. All right. So until then, I will save up my money and quickly end some turns. Oh, we're at war with dwarfs. The prince of nothing. Some m malignant, malignant? I don't know. Thing dares to challenge you. A message sent from somewhere in the Grey Mountains warns you to stay away and keep to your Sylvanian slums or face the, gr the great enchanter. Raise dead cost minus 15%. More leadership. Oh gosh, something serious is going to happen. Yeah, we're at war with the dwarves. When did that happen? Zufbar has been destroyed. Are these the orcs? 
Oh, it's a uh, bloody spears. All right. Wow, they destroyed Zufbar. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't know we were at war with these dwarfs. I don't remember that happening. And they own. I'm not quite sure how many settlements this actually makes up, but they own quite a bit. Oh, they have four. Right. Interesting. I didn't know we were at war. Anyway. Um, Kill them. Raise them. How are we looking for siege equipment? Alright, we have two siege towers. We're going to have a ram. Alright. So we'll end one more turn. And then we'll attack. Attack Castle Templehof! Oh, shit. The bloody spears got a wah. One of your spies who flits between the courts of mortal men seems to be staying or straying from his appointed task. He's being he's a being that still breathes but craves the red kiss. Perhaps a visit is in order to remind him who he serves. The carrot, the stick. Snap his neck. Oh my god. make his last moments agony hero action success yeah let's let's do let's give him a whiff did Manfred level up no so what's the um oh this guy did all right cool so yeah I'm gonna be making him a uh, I'm gonna make him good at uh, at fighting so let's see replenishes HP of combatants Yeah, yeah. Using that would be useful. All right. This be important. Oh, it is. We're about to take Templehof. All right, and uh, Lothar is uh, assisting me, so that's good. We don't have any banners or anything. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Oh God. Even though the chance of auto resolve is so high and our army is huge, there is a chance that we can lose a lot assaulting this place. Sieges are ridiculous, but who knows? This one, this one might be a cakewalk. It, it's it's not random, but like you never know. I mean, their actual good units are in hit are in uh, Zilig's army, Von Van Kruger, whatever. Um, the the ghouls, and they're at half strength, so it shouldn't be too bad. But with the Var guys, though, this this should be pretty good. And soon enough, we're going to be able to get Graveguard as well. And that's going to make our land battles so easy. Graveguard and Vargeist are going to destroy stuff. And it's going to be quite entertaining. So after we take out Templehof, I guess we'll turn our attention to these uh, to the dwarfs that are at war with us. If not, we can go after um, the Bloody Spears or whatever that uh, Orc and Goblin tribe was. But yeah, Zillig Van Kruger. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his first name at all. The Big Wah, Big Magic, Gorkamancy, <laughs> Stompy Spells, Silly Orcs. All right, let's do this. Castle Templehof, you are mine, or you will be mine. Oh God, yeah. Look at all the towers. So I'll probably just attack from this one side. Um. Oh gosh, do I really want to have them in the tower? Well, actually, no. Um. Yeah, it doesn't kill people if the towers collapse in this. That's right. Oh, it might kill a few, but it doesn't like destroy full units. Right. Everybody else behind Vargulf. Manfred von Karstein. Oh. That was, uh, whoops. I didn't even start my deployment yet. <laughs> Alright, um, well. Start battle. Oh, of course they're gonna shoot at that one. Alright, so they have go the ghouls up on the wall. That's what I expected. That's fine. Let's
Let's get some units climbing up. Attack with the ladders! Alright. Uh, oh, units are still coming in. Jeez. Friggin' slow undead. Where are my Vargeists? Are they not in yet? Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's get everybody up here to start casting some magics. Oh, we actually lost sight of everybody on the walls. That's weird. Our siege equipment has been destroyed. Oh, no. That's not good. I think the other ones are going to get there, though, so that's good. You know what? I might just put both Vargas units over here. Just to help out with that assault. Our ladders have docked on the walls! Excellent. Alright, so we're kind of just losing men by having them back here. But oh, well. There we go. This is the first siege, guys. The first... Total War Warhammer Siege that I've done. So hopefully you're all excited about that. I don't know why this one isn't in my control. It's a bit interesting. Oh, I'm losing a few of our guys. I definitely do not want to lose those units. So I'm going to get them out of there. This unit, uh, I'm going to get to come in here. This other unit, get out of there, yeah. God, they're so slow. I could have had the Vargulf destroy that by now. Alright, let's get attack orders on everybody so that they're not just sitting here and dying. That way they'll all start climbing up. Alright, soon enough, we're going to be at this wall. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth it. I could have had it broken down by now with the Vargulf. That's the funny thing. Alright, none of these units are being shot at, so we might as well just keep them back here, honestly. Ah, yes. I can do that inside here. I think that would be a good move. Or can I not? Oh, I just wasn't close enough, I guess. I can do it behind the wall, right? The enemy gates are destroyed. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. We do. We can do it. Alright. Attack them from behind! Blech. Blech. But yeah, this is epic. I love the fact that sieges actually matter on the walls now. Everybody was worried about how it would become boring, but like, this is fun. This is more fun than normal battles that I've had in, Attil in like Attila and stuff. I dread sieges in the other games, and you all know that. I hardly ever play sieges, but I feel like I actually would in this game. That's because that's because every settlement isn't a siege. That's the biggest thing for me. Was the fact that every single goddamn settlement was something that was like a fucking super fortress in Attila. The minor settlements were al almost easier to defend than the castles in the in the like situations that I was in, which is absolutely ridiculous and it shouldn't be like that at all. Right, so this guy has uh, Van Hell's Dance Macabre. So we'll make like this unit better or something. And then this guy just has this. Oh, you can't do it to people on a wall? Right. Alright, so what do they have defending here? I see hell, uh, fell bats. There's some enemy dire wolves, that's fine.
Alright, we're gonna need help destroying these guys, good lord. Take out those dire wolves. Alright. Boom, look at that! Enemy undead going everywhere. Oh, some of the Var guys actually went right off the wall. That's funny. Alright, let's get over here. Fell bats. Alright, they have a bunch of dire wolves. Their lord is back here, so he's going to be messing up my stuff. I'm going to try to get those dire wolves out of there. But I don't think it's really going to work. Let's get Manfred in here. Let's get these unit of our guys after after these guys. After him, actually. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what they can do to this little shit Von Kruger. Oh, a unit was wiped out. Crap. It was my dire wolves, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> the attack for those things is ridiculous. The fact that they all swoop down like that is really weird. Alright, they disintegrated. Let's kill him. Kill them. Raise them. Hell yeah. So yeah, like I thought, their ghouls are causing a lot of trouble. That's what it was. But Tempelhof is mine. And it always will be. Well, these Vara guys are on really low health. Let's get them out of there so that they don't die. All of these units are crumbling. Oh, they're disintegrated. Alright. This battle's over. Oh. Yep. He's disintegrating. He is dead. And then the army disintegrates as well. And that's a victory. Tempelhof is under the control of Manfred. And now we can carry on our... Uh, our wrath onto the dwarfs who dared declare war on me without me knowing. <laughs> we lost uh, just over, no, yeah, just over a thousand men, like a thousand fifty men. Which actually isn't too bad. We did lose an entire unit of dire wolves, that's a bit of a pain. But, all in all, it's okay. I don't think we lost any more entire units. So that's good, at least. And the Vargas did well for themselves, I believe. <sighs> Apologies for the loading screen. It's so random sometimes. Sometimes it loads so fast and then it's just so random. I can never, like, I can never guess when it's going to be good or bad. Which kind of sucks, but I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you guys understand. If you, if you don't play on an SSD, you certainly understand, and I, uh, I certainly do not have an SSD, sadly. I wish I did. I wish I could afford one. But yeah, you can really see early on. Um, how you need to get onto the walls as soon as possible because those towers were deadly and that was a level 2 settlement and the towers can go up to level 4 so you can imagine uh, if, if, it was, if Templehof was a level 4 settlement I could have I, I would have lost way more men I might have even lost a battle who knows upgrading settlements is going to be really important in this game because you can use these not small garrisons but like these these, these smaller garrisons you can use them in conjunction with the walls and towers to defeat much greater odds. Um, and that's, that's going to be really important in this game. Alright, so decisive victory. Thank you. The dead rise again. Oh, sweet. We didn't... Okay, so we ended up not losing that, <laughs> that unit. Yeah, and this army did really well. They hardly lost anybody. Manfred has leveled up. Excellent. A great result. So we will, of course, just occupy it because that will give us our second full settlement, I think. Or is this part of somewhere else? Anyway. 
And there we go, our mission was successful, so we got a little bit of extra money for that. And there we go. Yeah, this was part of Western Sylvania, so we don't have a second settlement yet. We need Schwarzhofen. And sadly, that's owned by... Oh, look at you, Marius. Marius Lightdorf. So that's, um... That's essentially the equivalent of... That's the, their, that's their basically their legendary lord right there. Um, so that's a bit of a pain. Like, Karl Franz is the legendary lord of the Reichland slash Empire. Marius Lightdorf is the legendary lord of Averland, basically. Oh, boy. Right, so I, um... Oh, shit, I can go on the Sword of Unholy Power quest. Or did I... What? Oh. Did I already do it? I think it just started, and like next turn or something, it's gonna be like, hey, you can do this quest now somewhere. I think so. Anyway, um, yeah, we definitely want to make him. We want to get him to fate of Buna. So let's get him through here. This be I'm gonna give him them, and I'm gonna take away these. And there we go. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna turn our attention to the dwarfs now. We're gonna wreck them! Alright, so now we have the money to upgrade this. And that's actually gonna give this place walls, isn't it? Wait, no. Oh. Oh, I might need a certain building to get walls. I guess it, it it is different for like everybody, so let's see. Yeah, you need that for walls. Ah, okay, never mind then. So it's not upgrading your settlement. Some I think sometimes it is, but yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, we're gonna upgrade that, and then we're gonna get the ancient armory. Excellent. So yeah, we're gonna turn our attention to the uh, to the uh, the Dawi. The damned Dawi. Oh my God! Look at the garrison on that place. It's like a full army. If they have an army there, I'm not gonna. Actually, I'm not going to attack it at all. That's that's suicide. More leadership. Maybe I should move on to something else. You know what? Let's go through the campaign stuff to help us out. Because I feel I feel like our military is decent enough anyway. Right, so we're going to end another turn. And then the forces of darkness will march on the dwarfs. Oh. Oh, look at that. They're marching on me. How cute. Yeah, the quest, quest issued for the Sword of Unholy Power. All right. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. That was a an, something we already did, I guess. At the start of your turn, have a total mag a dark magic of 10,000. Alright, so we have to save money, I guess. So the dwarves have marched. Manfred does not like the sound of that, so he's going to march over here. Uh, Western Sylvania is pretty happy, so that's good. So both armies are on the march. Screw it. Oh yeah, we can build something here. Um, that's growth. Vampiric corruption would be useful because there's none in like any of these other places. So we could go for that if we were to upgrade um, this. That costs two thousand. So maybe I should save up for that uh, for that quest that's going on. These guys are taking attrition like a dummy. You take me for the and they're raiding so that they don't take attrition. I'm not too I'm not too sad about um Ostland? Ostermark. I'm not too upset about Ostermark being there, I don't really care. A minion of von Karstein dares to come before me. Um Can I not get non aggression with them? Oh we already have it. Oh gosh. I'm dumb. Oh, we have non-aggression with like everybody. A minion of oh. von Karstein dares to come. 
fine. They'll be my... Oh, they're actually at war with a few of the... Uh... Oh, they might be a nice target then, Sterling. Yeah, so yeah. Um, corruption is not a thing here, which is kind of bad. Um... Can you spread? Can you spread corruption? You're not a very good attacker. That's fine. Um, can you spread corruption and stuff? A damage building. I'm not quite sure. I don't think he does. But I'm not too sure. I, I don't know where you can see what he what these these guys can do. I don't think they spread corruption, um, but I could be wrong. Anyway, we're gonna end the turn. And if the foolish dwarf wants a fight, he can have a fight. But he's going to get wrecked. Well, Ostermark is just marching right through my lands. That's just weird. Oh, uh, it might be to get to them, I guess. Arcane Fulcrum. Oh, more magic. That's cool. And yeah, they backed off. So yeah, they have an army there. On top of that huge... Oh gosh, I really, I really need to know... I need to find a way to how to spread uh, corruption here because without it, I'm going to get pretty wrecked. There's 2% corruption. Alright. But yeah, over there, there is not. Well, I'm going for this regardless. I don't care about anything else right now. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. Because we can get this. And then when this opens up, we can build um, the, the the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, Karak Kadrian is definitely going to be our first target. Because, well, why not? We could even just sack it if we really wanted to, but... Oh gosh, we're definitely going to want to siege it, but that's the thing, we can't, because there's no corruption, so we'll take, like, look at this. The true it burns! Ah! Yeah, that's going to kill a lot. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's something we have to deal with. Not likely. Add alert. Oh gosh, I don't know. Absolutely not. I refuse. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, we have this to upgrade. Hmm. There isn't any recruitment here, so that could be something that we should that we could focus on. But at the same time, I don't really want to. Ugh. <sighs> damn stuff. You need pretty high level settlements for any of this stuff. Which kind of sucks. Anyway, um, let's end the turn. Okay, yeah, Averland's fighting the, the Greenskins. Ostermark is invading Sterland. No problem. The gods are angry. The omens are ill. Something you have done has angered the gods. Dark magic tribute. Ugh. Whatever, fine. Marius Lightdorf is a foreign trespasser. Not likely. Ooh, he's actually weakened his army. Hmm. Yeah, Marius Lightdorf actually died at the Battle of Blackfire Pass, the third one. Um he was like, hey, Carl, help me, there's orcs here. And Carl was like, okay. And then he died. And then Carl beat the orcs. Awesome. Great story. I'll I know. Uh, well. What to say. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We actually have options. We can recruit good things. Alright. I'm gonna give you one unit of skellies. And I'm recruiting those black knights. I don't even care if it ru ruins my economy. I want them. Actual decent units. Oh. All right. Well, that's the end of the episode, guys. Sorry about that. Um, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying all this Warhammer content, make sure you're subscribed, because there's going to be more and more and more where that came from. Um, thank you to Haxo, Nicholas, Johnny, and Fish for pledging five or more dollars per month on Patreon. You guys are the best. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.